What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of The Block is Hot. In this episode, we're going over this week's best upcoming CNFT mints. And as always, guys, this is not financial advice. Always do your own research, and remember to be very careful in the market we're in right now. The strategy right now isn't necessarily minting a bunch of stuff, but it's more so being very selective with what you mint, and most of the time, just being hands-off. I know it's a little frustrating sometimes because I love minting a bunch of things, but if you look at a lot of the mints that have happened recently, guys, a lot of them have been going under mint price. So uh, just be careful with that and remember that the safer plays in the whole market right now are going to be your big blue chip CNFTs or it's just going to have money on the side waiting for things to potentially go lower and dollar cost average into these different things. But yes, without further ado, let's get into it. The first project on our list is actually minting today and that is the season three of Block Owls. There are going to be 1,432 of their final season three and it's going to be a hundred 125 ADA each. Block Owls are an OG project and they have over 12,000 followers on their Twitter and still get a decent amount of engagement on their various posts. Now what's really great about Block Owls guys is that they already have two seasons that have done well. Their season one, their Hydra collection had 2,600 NFTs and they currently have a floor of 200 ADA and their next season, their season two, the Plutus collection had less NFTs, about 2,200 and now have a floor of around 100 160 ADA. They are finally now releasing their third season, which is going to only have 1,400 of these NFTs at 125 ADA each. I personally think these Block Owls are going to do well in the short term, even if you get a floor piece. I at least think that you're going to have a break even simply because they already have so much demand and so much following, and this is the final collection. So a lot of people are going to be trying to get the whole entire collection of this season three, as well as have one of every single block owl from their previous seasons. And the fact that the supply is now cut to 1400, which is 66% of their previous drop, I do think these are going to do well. And if you are whitelisted, definitely mint this for today. Another thing that I wanted to bring up about block owls is that they just had a team AMA where they were talking about some of the direction the project was going. And they were bringing up how they might do a whole entire animated season on Netflix because they have a lot of connections in that whole entire space. And they have already released a little teaser animation just recently that was about three minutes long that looked absolutely insane. So I love the animations. I love the design of this. and I'm excited to see what they're going to do. They were also bringing up that they had some exciting things to announce uh, after this drop. So who knows what that's going to be. But imagine if they announced that they did have a partnership with a Netflix company and they're making their own show. Or imagine if they made some sort of game here where you had to have each of these block owls. Definitely Definitely a project to keep your eyes on, guys. The next project on our list here is the season two of El Matador, the Santeria. They are releasing 1,499 of this season two on July 3rd for 99 ADA each. El Matador is an art and community focused project, and they actually don't even have a website, which blows my mind since they've been around for a while now. Now, most of the time, I don't invest in art projects simply because art projects usually die when the hype dies down and they, it's usually not a profitable thing. People forget about it. But what's interesting about El Matador is that they had released 5,000 of these NFTs at 100 ADA, and they pretty much maintained that 100 ADA floor ever since they dropped. And now they're dropping the season two here, which literally cut the supply in half. So you would think this would do relatively well simply because the supply is cut in half and their previous season is at 138 ADA. Now what's really interesting about what they're doing here, guys, is that they're doing this whole stake and make thing where you need to have a season one as well as a season two. And if you're staking it, you're gonna be able to get these tokens that allow you to make your custom El Matador. And this is supposedly going to happen in quarter three, which is super dope. So imagine staking these El Matador. Now all of a sudden you get all these tokens and now you can buy specific traits from either the first season or the second season and create your own art piece. I think that's a really cool idea. Idea. I haven't seen any project on Cardano do something like that yet. And that whole customizability, customizability aspect, I think a lot of people are really going to like. We also have to think, guys, that they have to have both season one and season two, and season two has half the supply. So if there's at least 2,500 people that are holding season one, 
and are big fans of the art and big fans of the community, they're going to need this season two in order to customize stuff. So I personally think that season two is going to do well. And if you are into art, this is one of the coolest looking art projects there is, in my opinion. And you can also see here, they have a little bit of a showcase of what this is going to look like. I just think, I, I just think these look really cool. And I definitely have a feeling that these are gonna do well in the long run, especially if they continue to build a following like they have been. As far as more mid details, we don't know whether or not this is going to be a whitelist only drop or if it's going to the public as well. If I was them, I would definitely have done a whitelist. It would have helped their previous season uh, and it would have helped all the holders be able to get their second piece, but they haven't announced that yet. So if this is a public drop, I highly recommend going for it just because we know that a lot of people are going to need both the season one and season two. And this is a collection, one of the only collections that are art based that have really been maintaining their price, especially since we've gone into a bear market. It actually rose all the way to about 148 or right now, and they haven't even announced that this is gonna be a whitelist thing. I think people were just starting to buy more of them because they were like, oh my gosh, you know, I need to do this whole stake and make thing. But yes, definitely a project to pay attention to, guys. The next project on our list here are the Dot Dot Creatures, and they are minting June 30th. There's gonna be 8,888 of these Dot Dot Creatures. It's gonna be 45 ADA if you are in the whitelist, and 55 ADA in the public. Dot Dot Creatures currently have three 3,775 followers, and their goal is to make a bunch of these animated Vox style NFTs very similar to Block Owls, where you can get a common or a rare or a legendary, such as these different unicorns. And what's cool about this project is that they've actually partnered with a lot of other CNFT projects out there, including us and like the Raccoon Syndicate and a few others, to take their NFTs and put it into their whole world and uh, basically increase the whole collectability aspect. As far as their roadmap goes, they are releasing 8,888 of these animated uh, dot dot creatures, which do look pretty cool, guys. I do think these look pretty derpy and, and pretty silly, and I, I like the animations of it. Once they launch, they're also going to have a couple channels that provide some alpha. I think they have one guy right now that they announced that's gonna be doing some stuff, so maybe you can get some additional information there. The next thing they're gonna do is they're going to do this whole entire Tombstone Mystery Hunt event that is going to give away 2,500 ADA, as well as one of these dot dot creatures. The next step is to have real life brand development. Then they're going to acquire some different land in different metaverses. They're then going to have this whole dot dot town concept developed, which I'm not too sure what exactly they're doing with that there. And then they're saying it's a sunny day with the creatures. Dot is dream daydreaming about his alternative lives. Uh, stay tuned for our next announcement. So whatever that is going to be. They're also building this whole entire dot dot builder system where you're going to be able to go to them and they're going to help you build different stuff in various metaverses. So, you know, for example, Boss Planet, maybe they'll help you build these different businesses and potentially they're going to take some of that money and give it back to holders, even though I haven't seen anything confirm that yet. Now, I personally think that they're asking for too much ADA in the current market right now and that they really need to cut down their supply from 8,888 all the way down to 4,444. I think that would be a much better move. And as it currently stands, I would be a little bit hesitant minting this right away. Try to see what the secondary market is doing first from the whitelist. And depending on how that's doing, maybe you mint some in the public, or maybe what you do is you wait to see how fast it's minting. And if it does have a slow sellout, which I do think is going to happen here, maybe you can decide at the end whether or not you want to get into this project. I do like, however, how they're building a bunch of relationships with a lot of projects out there. I like how they're collabing with a lot of projects out there. I like the idea of having this whole animated Vox style thing, but I am a little worried in the sense that the Summoners Guild, which literally released 1,000 of their Summoner passes and are doing something very similar to this, literally hasn't even sold out the last time I checked, and they only wanted 1,000 uh, NFTs at 60 ADA each. Now, I do understand that that is a whitelist for their future stuff, and there's different benefits with that, but it is a little bit crazy to me, especially since the projects are, are decently similar. But definitely overall, guys, something to pay attention to. The last project on our list today, guys, are the Ada Tunes. They are releasing 7,500 of their NFTs on July 2nd. They're gonna be 77 Ada and NFT for the people on the whitelist or OG, and then it's gonna be 87 Ada for anyone in the public. The first two warnings that I wanna bring up with this project before I talk about their roadmap is that one, they don't have their website out yet, and it's only a few days before Mint. Personally, when a project doesn't have their website, 
there's a 0% chance that I'm actually minting that project unless the team is fully doxxed. So the fact that they aren't doxxed and the fact that they don't have their website out yet automatically makes my rug pull vibes tingling. Now I do want to mention here that on their discord they said that they were going to release an interactive website and that is in their phase one before they actually launch here. If they do do that then that is at least going to wipe out that one worry. The second thing that I want to bring up about this project guys is that it is a direct copy of DGen tunes from Ethereum which is a really large project on Ethereum. Even some of their layers are the same exact copies from another project and whenever I see a project do that I definitely worry about the legitimacy or the integrity of the project. So right off the rip those are two red flags. Now I do want to bring up here too that they're saying that they're actually releasing a play to earn mini game on the 29th which is tomorrow and maybe that's why the website isn't currently out yet and this would be the first time on Cardano where I've actually seen a mini game or some sort of utility like this come out before the actual sale of their whole entire project but I just wanted to bring up that warning guys that oh my gosh they aren't a docs team they currently don't have their website out yet and on top of that they literally copied another project as well as literally copied some of their art so right off the rip there are a ton of red flags there now you guys are probably wondering why is this project on my best upcoming CNFT mints drops if there are so many different worries with the whole entire copycat thing and you know just not having a website and some of that stuff out yet well guys I personally do think they have been doing a good job as far as marketing and as far as making announcements on their discord they definitely know what they're doing and they're experienced and they have been building up a decent amount of hype I also like the idea of releasing a play to earn game before the project is even released and if that game is fun or depending on the complexities of that game that could be a very good sign that these guys actually once again know what they're doing and actually had some starter capital to make this happen before they even released before they even made any money from it I also like the whole idea of their loony token uh loony loony to token Loney token, Looney token, uh, as well as the merch that they've already released. And they're even talking about doing different events in Dubai, for example, where you know your NFT could be access to these different events. So overall, definitely a project to keep your eye on. I'm probably not gonna mint it simply because I don't like how they copied another project out there, but there's probably a decent amount of people that are going to mint it in hopes of making money. And that's just another worry I have, guys. How many people are buying this to genuinely hold it versus people that are buying this hoping that other people buy this so that they can make money and that's a really important thing that you need to look at when you're going for these different mints is this a project that just has a lot of flippers in, involved or is this a project that has really been developing a community and really has a handful of believers that actually want to own the project if everyone wants to flip the project or thinks this is a flippable project then you're not going to make money guys because everyone else is trying to make money you really want to look for projects that are building something or that have a following very similar Similar to Block Owls. We already know a lot of people collect them. We already know there's a whole animation aspect. We know people love them. We know people like watching them. So we know that there aren't just going to be flippers in this project. And same thing with El Matador. We know this is an art project that has actually maintained its floor, which is something very hard to do. And we know the whole customization aspect that they're doing in their next season where you need to own both of them. So those are different projects that I like and those are different projects I look for because I know it's not just a hype. Oh, let me build up hype. Let me build up hype. Oh, we're going to do this copycat and make some money from it. So just be careful, but definitely have this project on your list and definitely pay attention to how fast it's minting because it could still be an opportunity. That pretty much wraps up this week's best upcoming CNFT mints. And there are some other projects out there, guys, such as OBA that I almost included on this list, but I really am trying to be as selective as possible here. And really, if you're just trying to do safe mints, I would stick to Block Owls today and I would stick to El Matador. Those are probably your two safest mints of the week. For the most part, I'm just going to be on the sidelines. But yeah, Yes, thank you guys for watching. If you aren't already staked to BIG, make sure that you do that and help out the channel, help out the community, as well as join the Block Discord. Because in the Block Discord, we are already giving a lot of information about these different plays, having release schedules. We're starting to onboard some of our alpha callers, and you're actually gonna be able to see some of the different information that we're gonna provide before we even sell our project. So you have an idea of what the group is actually gonna be about. But yeah, that pretty much wraps everything up. Hope everyone has an awesome day.